Hi everyone. So today I'll be reading a few poems for the Poetry Project's House Party series, which I'm really grateful to be reading for. I think that during this time, during the pandemic, where we haven't been able to have a kind of physical closeness, this series um, with all of the poetry and music and sounds and just the way that we're in community um, through media and through words has felt something it's been something that I've been really grateful for um, so I just want to say that I'm glad to be a part of that I have a book coming out this fall which these three poems are from that book it's called speculation um, and that book will be coming from Autumn House Press so we'll be on the lookout for that in the fall okay the precision of matter we have to be specific about who wants us dead and how and where and at what time. Lately, I've been hiding under the details, the approximations of who said what and where and why any of it matters. All this time, I've known something has died, but I've been failing to name a body. It's possible that none of this matters, not the size of the dean's office, not the weight of being alone, or even how beautiful the sky looked night after night after night. It's possible that none of this matters, the size of my apartment, the shape of my body. It's possible that from here, a window will always appear this size, big enough to fit the grief. The news will tell you what to believe, but recognition is the true means of survival. That thing we feel each time we see someone who is ours leave this world. He was ours. She was ours. They were ours. The image printed on the front page, that black scream they gave them. These are not ours to keep but they were ours. And now we imagine a body somewhere else, somewhere that is not of this earth. Perhaps you wanna leave with them. And I wouldn't tell you that you were wrong. Perhaps you feel it in your abdomen, in your head burrowed to the ground, or in your hands raised up in fury. I remember the first time how the pain settled deep down in my stomach and made a home. I could not move it. I couldn't feel a thing but the weight, the water. First, the sharpness of the mind hides the body, reduces your skin to ornament. Then the body washes up like animal out of river, teeth drawn, searching for the thing that drew blood. They were ours. What is yours? What is yours? What is yours? And this last poem is called The Flight of Hydrangea. Of my first time flying, I remember the sky white clouds of hydrangea and pink swirls that looked like smoke cooling off the Florida coast. Sweet water, it must be. And the green and peach houses getting smaller by the mile, an infant latching onto his mother, mouth open for food. Ain't no food on this flight, child. Something too heavy. Call it turbulence, call it God, call it to the wind. It was 7 a.m. when I finally understood the danger. It's not the shaking that does the damage. It's what this all means for the vessel. Just how, it's not the pain that does the damage, but what this all means for the body. Perhaps we meet water. Maybe we all die. Maybe I get what I've been asking for. But suddenly, all the waiting stopped. The long wait of this plane, of the sky, 
of my body. And when it did, I asked for nothing else of the air except to, as it does, live.